Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Confluence tutorial, we are going to learn how you can add table of contents in any of the Confluence page. So before we proceed further, I would like to mention that this video is sponsored by Jexo, an innovative company that builds work planning apps for Jira Cloud, such as Octo, a plug and play component management tool to help you structure issues in Jira, release native component versions, and track work progress while collaborating across projects. Check the link or description below for more on Octo. Thank you. Adding table of contents is absolutely easy and simple task and it brings a lot of good benefits. So let's go ahead and understand how you can add table of contents in the Confluence page and what all customization options are available to make it more presentable. So whenever you want to add a table table of contents, say for example, I will go to that particular space, right? So say for example, this is my project here. Okay, so this project, this is the project A space in the confluence that we have been working with and in the pages what I have done is I have created a table of content page with some dummy content there okay so let me minimize this section here so that you can see this particular content now at the moment this whole content that you see on this particular page is not having any table of content so if somebody has to read this particular information they do not have any shortcut to go ahead and see the particular section or just see the section basically from the content or the table of content so they have to scroll down and get all the information there so this is a big challenge if you have say for example very lengthy document it becomes a uh, tedious job for a person to find the relevant section to read the information and that's where table of content is really helpful to add a table of content it's absolutely simple so you simply go to the page where you want to add the table of content click on edit icon on that particular page and then what we have to do here is on the top of this particular page if you simply go to this drop down or there is a shortcut right so if you say for example just say forward slash over here so i'll say forward slash and then start typing in table okay and you will see this table of contents is visible here you can do either this way or you can go to this drop down and then you have this table of contents visible here as well okay if you can't find here then go to view more and then start typing in table of contents okay so you, as soon as you will start typing in table it will appear in this particular list here so you can select table of contents from here as well so once the table of content macro you will select you will see that by default whatever information is there on this particular page will start getting listed in the form of table of content now you can customize this table of content as per your needs so let's go ahead and understand what all options are there so the output type at the moment is selected as list and there are there are two options so you can select a list or flat so if you select list this is how the table of contents uh, will look if you select flat and then change this preview you will see that it is displayed as a flat list okay list style is something which is basically if you have selected list and then this is applicable right so if you want to change the list style so at the moment it is disk or circle or a square so say for example at the moment it is circle i want to change the list style to square i simply change the or add the list style as square there okay if i want to display the numbering just check this particular display section numbering and you will start seeing the numbers here so if you say preview here you will see that the numbers will be displayed and and the display or the list style has been changed to square okay so you can go ahead and play around with these list styles add the one that best suits for you and looks good for you okay then heading indent is another important thing so this by default this table of content by default will indent accordingly with the default settings but if say for example you do not want to indent these subheadings to to a lot or you want to indent it less or custom so you can specify the pixels there so say for example i can specify 5 px 5 pixel here so say for example they have given the example here is 10 px so depending on how much you want to indent you will see that the indentation has been updated accordingly all right if you want to change it you simply change it here and click on preview and you will see whichever looks good then that is what indentation you can finalize if you do not want any custom values there just remove it keep it blank and it will take the default indentation 
presentation automatically. Separator is applicable only if you select the style as flat. Okay, so say for example, if I select the style as flat, so at the moment you will see the separators are the square brackets, right? The brackets. So I can change the separator to say for example, you know, braces or pipes or instead of the brackets i say for example i want the separator as the pipe so i just write the separator as pipe there and you will see the separator is pipe it has changed from the square but the best way is to have it you know like the list so list is more presentable uh, i find it more presentable but it's your choice if you want to change it to flat and then change the separator accordingly right then uh, the heading level are important so at the moment whatever headings are there on the page so say for example this is h1 this is h2 then h3 accordingly whatever headings are there they will be listed on this particular page so minimum heading level is one right and the maximum heading level is seven so if you have you know up to seven heading levels so if you see here the maximum heading level to report in toc so for example four will list headings up to h4 but not from h5 right so if you select say for example four here so it will list the headings up to h4 okay if i change it to two and change the preview it will only display the headings which are h1 and h2 on the page all right and then these are you know other options include headings and uh, exclude headings wherein you can put the regular expression not too much required uh, if you're just you know preparing the pages accordingly to the to the headings printable is another important section that is available if you want this particular table of content to be available in the print when you are printing or somebody is printing this particular page then keep it checked otherwise if you'll clear it then table of content will be not visible when you are printing this particular page all right so keep it checked there and then rest is all you know more of a this is more of a css designings aspect and the absolute url so not too much required all other sections these two sections as well but most of the important ones i have covered as part of this tutorial anyways and once you are happy that this is what the table of content should look like let me change the heading level to five so that i could all the headings there and once you are happy then click on insert so once you will insert it will insert this table of content here click on publish and you will be able to see this table of content available on the published page right so the beauty of this particular table of content here is now say for example i want to navigate to a particular section of this page i can simply click on that particular section and it will directly take me to that particular section of the page all right this is what it is all about the table of contents and you can see these are you know like the h1 headings so if i go ahead and edit so this is this is what the heading h1 heading is right so this is h1 this is h2 and when we say select the level of headings from h1 to h7 that is available there this is h3 that's what it will include so if i go to table of contents we had this minimum heading level and maximum heading level so that is what it will select so h1 h2 h3 so say for example i'll just say h1 and h2 to be displayed in the table of contents then in that particular case all these third level headings and further will be disabled and won't be visible in the table of content right so all at all the places they are not visible anymore so this is basically all about the table of contents and how you can add table of contents in any of the confluence page very simple easy step but very very powerful feature of the confluence that you should know about so that's all about this particular tutorial i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching